All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about how I set up this drowner cable that is adjustable in length. Right here you can see my closed end loop with a small piece of 11 gauge wire. And again, that's what I use to wrap around my feed sack. And right here's my T-bar. What we're gonna do is wrap around this T-bar a few times. And then what we gotta do is come into our ferrule backwards. And what that's gonna do is allow that to cinch down on that rebar and not slip out. And that's that. So you're gonna see, I'm gonna wrap this up and I'm gonna hold that T-bar on the top side and you can see that's cinching tighter. Another scenario is we're gonna use this tree. I found that three wraps minimum works the best in cinching down tight. So again, we're gonna come through the ferrule backwards. We don't wanna come through forward with the cable. It won't cinch down properly. You wanna come through that ferrule backwards Come through backwards, and that's gonna come, pull that slack out, push that ferrule down, and now I'm gonna put all my force, up 220 pounds, into that, and it's just, that ferrule is cinching down on itself. That cable cannot go anywhere. So, I'm telling you, these cables are worth it. Make these up for your beaver line, for your mink line, for your muskrat line, anything on water, they will work, they will be effective, and I promise you, you will enjoy and appreciate being able to adjust your length of your cable. So I hope this helps you. We'll catch you in the next one.